Hey. hey, everybody. Great news. Great news. We've got new merch. New merch. New shirts, baby. The new shirts, uh, they were compiled by uh, Rudy Jules saying uh, that we're in a band together because we're in, uh, this is the best Bad Friends band of all time. So they're right there. They're right point in the middle of us, I think. There they are. Yeah, there they are. Go to badfriendsmerch.com to get them. Badfriendsmerch.com. Uh, also, I'm on tour. Come see me. AndrewSantino.com for tickets. I am... Uh, I'm going to be in Addison and Houston and Madison and Boston. Uh, just go to andrewsantino.com for tickets and check that out. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? A white dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. If you go to school up north, you're not going to be here. Yeah. So then what? No, she's not, You know, I'm, well, I live with her. Yeah. Right? So every day I'm wearing her down. Oh, yeah. You see Davis? So far. It's, it's rape free. It's a lot of rape going on. Did you hear about all the crime that they've just had? They had that woman. Andres, didn't that woman get stabbed in the eye coming out of like a. Both eyes. Both eyes. Out yeah. of like a, just out of yeah. a. With a penis. Out of, yeah, with a penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable what's going on up there, Rudy. Yeah, she got gouged her eyes. Stabbed, stabbing at UC Davis. Uh, yeah. it, there it is. Yeah. Cha cha uh, charges issued campus stabbing. UC Davis. Good you think God. you think that lady in New York, you know, that old age, that so Filipino sad. lady got attacked, right? In, in UC Davis? They like they like they like skinning the young. Filipino oh girls. yeah, you're done. You are done. They for. do. There's a whole um, a, a, a Filipino girl skin trading um, underground. Uh, yeah. Black market. There. Yeah. On Bitcoin, people are using Bitcoin yeah, to buy yeah, Filipino yeah. skin. <laughs> it's skin. Yeah. It's disgusting. But Antikalila's training. Antikalila, fuck Antikalila. <laughs> I'm here. I'm your uncle. All right. <laughs> now listen to me. All right. You're not going nowhere. By the way. Yeah. What is she training you to fight? Fight back. Wow. Oh, what really? skills What's do you your, know? Really? No, he's um she's gonna sign me up for uh um, You have the CrossFit. body of Jiminy Cricket. What are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> Bare muscles. Okay, right. Let With me your see. little green cartoon arms. Flex your arms. No. Pull look your at those shirt things. so we can see. Oh my god. Yeah. It's skin, bone, and that's it. Yeah. No blood. And the skin kind of like hangs on the bone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is what no you that's do, you right girl? there. There's Jiminy yeah, there, there, Cricket. There's you for sure. There you are. Hi, I'm Marudi. Hi. A Jiminy Cricket. Can we get her an umbrella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we get her a purple I'm, umbrella? Please? I'm Marudi. Hi, Marudi. Yeah. Do you know who that is, by the way? From Pinocchio. Wow. What, dude? Well, bro. I, 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 she's not, bro. She I don't know if she, they have TV not, over know, there. She's not mentally, you know. <laughs> don't they just watch like cockfights? What do you guys no, do when you go out at no, night? No, they watch those live. <laughs> oh, they watch it on TV. There's no TV. That's yeah, right. Yeah. That's right. That's live. Yeah. Yeah, from Pinocchio. Yeah, but look, Pinocchio is down there. So that's it was, you saw that at the bottom, didn't you? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. Which one of the dwarves? Uh, did you watch all the Disney movies? I don't know. Which one of the dwarves would she be of the of the dwarves? If we were the dwarves, if this was one hundred percent sleepy, sleepy for sure. What bro, would you be, bro, then? bro, bro? La oh my god, <laughs> bro, bro. Last night, <laughs> so I'm using a printer. Yeah, she's sleeping downstairs because we're remodeling upstairs. No, no, no. We got <laughs> dogs again. Oh, more god. dogs. So we have we had one dog yesterday. Mm -hmm. This morning, that dog, Mr. 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 Big, he's Big. gone. He died. No, no, he didn't die. Well. I don't know what happened, but um, <laughs> but the sandwich today was I mean, very we put, delicious. We, we put him out on Ventura, <laughs> and, then, and we yeah. found out what happened. Then I take a nap, I wake up, right, and then guess what's there? Three puppies. <laughs> well, I'm taking a nap. That happened. Where do you guys get these dogs, dude? I have no idea. Antikalala gets a lot of. Um, She's like, if you say Antikalala one more time, <laughs> yeah, he's sick of that. Yeah, yeah. This is not TV. Dude, right. you, you guys say, with dogs, is, yeah. it's like the bag lady. You know the old crazy bag lady who has like tons of... It's oh, like right, Kalila's right. turning into a dog bag lady. We want to see, help. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So anyway, last night, right? It's like, I don't know, two in the morning, right? Yeah. She just went to bed. At 2 a.m. Right, you just so go to bed. She's sleeping downstairs because we have a Mr. Big. Mm -hmm. And I, I, there's no pr more ink in the printer. And I, I, I go, I don't want to... I'm not going to be able to... She goes, wake her up. See where the ink is. Yeah. Uh. So I go downstairs. She's on a couch. Jules, 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 Jules. I mean, I'm not kidding you. Three minutes. Jules, but five. Jules, hitting. You know what I mean? She, she does not wake up. What is your problem? She does. She I says don't know. you have a sleeping problem. No, it is honestly. Yeah, that's yeah, why I can't wake up to my alarm. <laughs> yeah, remember like last I know, the week. Multi alarms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You need. To, you really do need to go consult someone about that. No, we do. What we if something to... really real happens and you you they need you to wake up for it? What if a, what if an earthquake happens and all the walls are falling down? You're just gonna be... 
You guys aren't gonna yeah, go in see every her. disaster movie. She's the one that dies. Yeah, for sure. Like uh, uh, day after tomorrow, right? Mm-hmm. She right when when New York's flooded. Yeah, right. She's just <laughs> with the cabs, you know, floating cabs, and she's, she's just floating she's next to a cab. asleep <laughs> going going down Forty Seventh. Yeah, yeah. Twister, right? She, right. But just in the in the in the you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Sleeping tornado, in the tornado. Sleeping, sleeping in the tornado, like this. yeah. <laughs> What else does that say? Volcano? <laughs> yeah. Right? The, la- the lava slowly engulfing everyone in ash. <laughs> right. And you would think that once the lava hit her toes, no. she would wake up. No. no. She's halfway in lava and she also open her eyes. And then finally when it gets to here, she's like, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Tito, Bob. <laughs> yeah. The meteor is already in deep impact. The meteor is already on her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. In the mushroom cloud sleeping. Well, we got to get you some help. And I, by the way, you might get replaced on this show if you can't commit. Hey, they, what, what's yeah. the nearest school that said yes? Um, Phil. Wait. The LA Philadelphia, Phil- Philadelphia <laughs> University of Philadelphia. Wait. What the fuck? Um, I forgot. No, well, looks like you're not going there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It I know what it, I know what it is. I know what it is. What? University of Riverside. You see Riverside. Fullerton. Oh, Fullerton. Oh, Fullerton. That's not far either. That's down south. That's that's Orange County, right? Yeah. You don't know. Why am I asking you? Yeah, yeah. Is that is that close? Fullerton is in Orange County. I'm almost positive. Pull like, it up on the thing. It's an hour and a half to drive. Easy. Yeah. But how is she going to... She can drive? We'll send her a car or something. We'll get her... We have to figure it out. Or we can make... We can make... Uh, we can make uh, Andres do it. Look at Andres already Pete. loading. Huh? Yeah. Pete? Actually, you know what? Uh, 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 Fancy B brings up a good point. Pete is the new rookie in town. Yeah. We should make Pete go get her. Right. I mean, what? Who, what is Pete? Not... Honestly, not a clue. Now, I mean, what, how did... Because he just... Pete just kind of like showed up one day. This is Pete. This is Pete. Hey, I'm Pete. Yeah, but he's so big too. He's just like, I'm Pete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm Pete. You know what I mean? That kind of like. He's a... on the computer right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> do they like me? <laughs> Pete, we like you very much. Yeah. He does something for you guys again. He has something again for us? Oh, yeah. Pete, what have you got? <laughs> you know what these, this relationship is like? <laughs> of mice and men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny. Right, Lenny. Lenny. You're Lenny, dude. Lenny. Uh, oh, do. <laughs> I got you something. Lenny, let me see. What is this? Thank you very much, Pete. Thank you so much, Pete. What is this? It's not even fucking melted. Hey, hey, hey. Be nice. Be nice, Pete. What is this, Pete? Apple pie. Oh, it's the cheese pie we talked about. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, let's try it. How long has this been sitting out? I I don't know. If it's been sitting out. It's hard as a rock. It's hard as a rock. I don't know. I want to taste it. Because I've never done cheese on pie. I can't do it. Come on. Come on, Bob. You ate my pubes. Oh, that's right. Right. I think this is not that big of a deal. Okay. All right, here this is uh, this is a shout out to my boy Jake Lacey who told me about this from who's from the Northeast and said cheese on pie is legit. Cheddar cheese on apple pie. I get it. You do already, right yeah, away. I get it. I get it. I don't want another one, but I get it. I do get it. I get it. Yeah, you can get it. Oh, if wow. it was hot. Oh, if it was piping hot. Piping hot and melted on there. I get it. I would one hundred percent get it. Are you, are you liking it, Jules? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. yeah, it's good, huh? Yeah, Pete. Thank you, Pete. That's interesting. So, what what kind of cheese is the best cheese? Well, that's cheddar, right? Sharp yeah, cheddar. I don't know what cheddar is? Man. No, no, that's, that's what they say you use. You have to use sharp, sharp cheddar. Yeah, right. Yeah. You can't use. They say if you use other cheese, it just doesn't do. It doesn't do the thing. It doesn't taste like Swiss. Wouldn't taste good on here. Right. Yeah. We should you try it though. We should do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll get Swiss next week. <laughs> right, can you take this away, uh, Lenny? <laughs> <laughs> here. Wanna hold the mice? Here, here, wait. Here we go. <laughs> I love you, Pete. Thank you so much. Pete, what are you, by the way? You're full white, right? You're nothing else? I can't see behind the mask. Uh, Sicilian, actually. Yeah. Okay, Sicilian. So he's a, he's What region? The Mongo? <laughs> <laughs> the Mongo re- she region. She wants to Sicilian. finish hers. Leave her. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's yeah. going to eat it. The. <laughs> so mean. so mean, but look at him. Pete. Because when I walk in here, I, he's always like, just the, the, with his big fingers on the keyboard. <laughs> just like, just... Duh, yeah. yeah, do you have an extra uh, a big keyboard for your hands? He's got he's yeah. got just gigantic hands. <laughs> Such a so mean. What did he say, Andres? We can't hear him. Yeah. He said yeah. yes. Oh, okay, okay. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right on. Well, thank you, Pete. Thank, thank you for you, the pie. Pete. Pete. <laughs> that's so mean. Rude. So listen, we're gonna we're gonna huff you up here from Fullerton, but I'm hoping it's in Long Beach because that's not that far. Long Beach is just as easy. It's like twenty eight minutes away. But if you decide to go up north to school, you're going to get replaced. And we've already fished out. Andres spent some time fishing out Rudy replacements. Are you ready to see who might replace you? Yeah. All right, let's check it out. Let's see what they've got for the Rudy replacement. By the way, we don't want this. We should make this clear. This no, is no, the, no. This is what I do not want. Because it's like, you know, it's lightning in the bottle. It's, 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 it's one in a million. 100%. Because the reason why Jules 
was on this in the first place. She didn't want to come. No. No, Kalila was like, uh, my girlfriend was just like, she's just going to get out of the house and do something, you know, and just like, and it's going to get her out of her shell. She's shy. She's a super shy girl, right? Not anymore, you're not. So she she reluctantly came here. Yeah. Right? yeah well, and she would dread every week for a while. Yeah. The first 15 episodes, just dreading it. You hated it, huh? Really? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to talk, so. Yeah. yeah but how do you that. feel now about talking? It's more okay. Yeah, it's more okay, right? Oh, You're more. Oh my god, so ungrateful. This it's book. more it's okay. More okay. Well, you have uh, uh, seventy thousand Instagram followers. No. How many? Fifty-seven. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Look at her face. Yeah. Why? Because of bad. Because friends. that's right. Tito, Tito Andrew, Andrew and, and Tito, Tito Bobby. Bobby. That's right. <laughs> Okay. And that's why. And fancy, but definitely not Pete. Just no. know that. Yeah. George. Fancy for sure, definitely not Pete. And George has his baby now, right? His baby's out. Yesterday, yeah. And Andres said, and I'm gonna ago. I'm gonna call out Andres right now. He said some shit before you guys came. <laughs> I'm gonna call out what you said. He goes, uh, I was surprised. Their baby was cute. That's what <laughs> <laughs> That's sweaty yeah, yeah, yeah. verbatim. Pretty cute. And it was so funny because the baby was born, and then, you know, I didn't do it. I mean, I heard it. Sure. I don't know how I heard it. Yeah. The baby's born. I was like, oh, it just it didn't register. Mm -hmm. I just went about my day, played games. Yeah, eating. life goes on. Eight hours later, I'm at the dinner table, with, and she goes, did you, so what did you talk to George? Did you talk to, what did you say? I didn't talk to George. Why would I? She's like, you, what kind of human being are you? Nothing. So what, what did I do? I, had, I called him when he was in the hospital. Did you call him? No. No. Did you call him to congratulate him? I texted him about a work thing, and then he... <laughs> no, be real. You haven't I'll show called you. him and congratulated him. No, fuck no. That's fucking weird. No, big deal. It's just George. I know. <laughs> I know. That's how I felt about it. <laughs> so then I, then I had to make the call, and, I, and he picks up. He goes, hello? He's surprised that I called. Here, hold on. You can read this. <laughs> hey, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me read it. Let me read it. <laughs> look, Wednesday. Read what it says on, on Wednesday. Uh, so, Wednesday. What's up with the ads on Anchor? That's what I said. Yeah. What's up with the ads right. on? Because I'm like, is what the is baby the Anchor? Out yet? Yeah. Yeah. It, no, no, read right below it. You'll see what he says. To okay. response. I go, what's up with the ads on Anchor? Because I'm trying to figure out what's oh, going on oh on Anchor. God. This is exactly. Hey, my wife's water broke this morning. <laughs> so we're at Kaiser now. But Bryce can answer anything. Then you go, congrats. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking asshole. Congrats. congrats. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't fucking care. Oh my God. Congrats to George. We do love him so very much. I'm very happy for him. But I, I was I call, you know. I go, you know, so what's it like? <laughs> like I didn't know what to, you know what I mean? Well, what That's do you, what yeah. what are you supposed to, what are guys supposed to say to other guys when they to me, it, girls, it's a thing with weddings and babies and girls are like, oh my god, and then but a guy is always like, cool. Yeah, well, because once you get certain amount of information, like the baby's here. It's healthy. And I ask. Is it alive? Yeah, it's alive. It's and healthy. And she goes, it's alive. Great. I go, is it fine? Yep. Then there's no need to call. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, I have all the information I need. <laughs> right? <laughs> After the, it, because it becomes a little bit more, you know, I don't want to say this word, but gay. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> you know, it, I don't know it, how, it, but it does, I yeah, guess. <laughs> it feels gay. <laughs> it feels gay to go, you know what I mean? What's the bad? So how is your feel? What are you feeling? How much, when you ask another how guy, much how, hair how, does it have? Yeah. What does it look like? Yeah, what does it look like, you know? How, and I, I asked some stupid question like, um, so, you know, was it everything that you ever dreamed of? I, like, we, 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 I don't do. Do you know? Well, you hate babies. Yeah. What did you say to George about George's baby? Did you say anything to him? I didn't say anything. Good for you. Good for you. Good for and that's the route we should have taken. Yeah, that's on brand. <laughs> yeah. When he said my wife's water broke and we're at the hospital, yeah. I, sh I should have blocked his number. <laughs> yeah. Well, just deleted his fucking information. That's it. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. need him anymore. He's out of my life. Congratulations to George and so their new, brand new baby. What's the name? Can we say the name? Nobody knows? George it's a boy. Thomas it's a boy, right? Faith. Wait, did you just hear? He's, oh my God. Andres. No, no, no. It has to be that. Are you making it up? It, it has to be George because of the fact that um, it's George the fifth, remember? Because he's the fourth. <laughs> no. Yes. Is, Which, it the, is he the fifth? George is the fourth. His son the is the baby's the fifth. Yes. Oh, it has. It's a, it's a it's a part of the lineage. See, this is the thing about whites that I don't. I hate whites. We that's a white thing to do. They I don't know. do that. In, they don't do that anywhere else in the world. My dad's name is Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, Robert. Yeah, but that's because of your descendants of Robert E. Lee, the great general <laughs> no, 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 no. that we love it's so just, much. Just, yeah. That's the weirdest just... thing in the world, though. Yeah. Why did you do a white thing? Why did he do that? Like I'm not. If I had a baby, I would name it because now you, you would can, never name your you kid Bobby. More, no, you can go more. I have, how do I say this? You can go more black with it. What would your black baby be? You could say whatever. Now I would say something that's never been said. 
nitrous or nitrous know, is it, tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a cool name. Or um, guava. I don't citrus. Oh, guava yeah. is really good. Like, yeah. Come here, guava. Yeah. Guava Lee. Metaphor. Oh, um, not metaphor. Metaphys metaphysical. Metaphysical Lee. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think Guava Lee is so guava, sick. Yeah, I'm guava not Lee even kidding at all. Guava Lee. Sharp. I'm going to name my kid Jeez, Sharp. You could do whatever. Sharp Santino. Yeah. Come here, Sharp. You could just make a noise. What's how? <laughs> Come here, what's how? <laughs> I want to see these Rudy kids. Yeah, yeah. So let's, let's, let's see, see some of the- uh, Let's see the videos. Videos. Uh, and I'm going to temper my expectations on this but whole you're, thing. But because they're replacing you- yeah, get in. Yeah, we bought her a fucking know, mic she's arm. She's the fucking worst. And it goes right to your face. It's sleepy. Listen, Jules. Yes. You have to vote. You yeah. have to figure out. You have to, right? Yeah, she this has to vote. This person's replacing you. So pay attention. So pay attention. All right, here we go. Hi, Judo Bobby. Hi, Judo Andrew. And of course, the rest of the Bad Friends crew. Andres, Rudy, of course, including the other guy I'm not going to mention. <laughs> because why the fuck would I? Okay. Check. Okay, props. <laughs> well, anyway, this is not really on addition, but more of a plea to allow me to replace Rudy on the Bad Friends podcast. Interesting. I think that would be a wonderful addition. I'm very frail. Look, <laughs> look at this wrist, right? Pretty good. I do like skinny, <laughs> frail people. That's you know, funny. Like a pound over 90. Um, also, I have an indent in my chest, so that kind of makes me a freak like both Tito Bobby and Tito Andrew. Cool, Tito cool. Tito Andrew, of course, who's a ginger, and Tito Bobby, who... It's mm -hmm. you kissing my ball. Yeah, you yeah. know. But, uh, oh, my name's Peter. I forgot to say that. Oh, uh, uh, yuck. We already got one. Kinda, Open yeah, with one. Plea. I'll do anything. Bobby, I'll... Bobby, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll suck your little dumpling. <laughs> okay. I like this I like guy. It. I like him. All right, well, we, okay, we can't say anything. You, you, <clears throat> sorry, you sorry. have to. This is on you. So, that's one. All right, let's get... Uh, what well, your opinion so far? Oh, yeah. He was funny. Okay. Thanks for that in-depth interview. Oh my god! It's like it's honestly, it's like pulling fucking molars. Yeah. It's so hard to get anything out of her. Sometimes you should do a TED talk. Yeah. <laughs> What's the kind of information? Here we go. Wait, let's. Oh, we. Well, wait, one, good. one second though. One second. Yeah. Honestly, if he's interviewing for you, you're the fucking CEO of Rudy Enterprise. This guy comes in for a job. He just interviewed. What do you say? Um, it's good to know you. You were really funny. Just, we can't replace no, her. No, no, no. This I, is I, this, insane. Yeah, it's never going to work. He wouldn't even answer to that one. I know. That's like a clever, <laughs> that's, that's her classic. own brand. You know what I mean? Of right. Less is more. Less is more. Less is more with yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see this girl with too many air conditioning units behind her. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, I'm Savannah. I'm 20 years old. I know that I'm a white girl, but I'm also gay, so I think that even seems out Okay, right. we do. Okay. I'm actually being held hostage by the entire state of Utah. Mormons may seem nice, but they're really scary, especially when you're gay. Oh. Anyway, oh. <laughs> you can as soon as possible, that would be great. Mm. Um, my brother told me to apply because apparently I am the worst friend on the entire planet. <laughs> now, in conclusion, I think that I would be a great contender for a bad friend. Yeah. Because I'm short, fat, Korean. <laughs> And I sleep in until three every day. <laughs> <laughs> She's the shit. Yeah, I like her. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't. I, we're voicing so, our opinion. No, I like her. She's awesome. Okay. So, but uh, she, and she, by the way, she has connives in the background, which I love. Look at the connive connection. Yeah. Put her. So, for the ones that we really like, why don't we put them aside or mark them or something? Savannah's her name. Yeah. She's yeah. fucking great. And by the way, a white gay woman on here. That'd be great. That'd be great. Yeah, but she's missing the innocence. We, no, she's in Utah. She's yeah, being held captive. Yeah, but there's a quality about her that's kind of like oh, that's, almost as if that's irreplaceable. She, no, we could maybe find it. Well, we'd have to buy another Filipino off the internet. I don't know. We have to like go search. Oh, what are they we're running for? Five fifty nine ninety five. What are they? <laughs> <laughs> get your get your own custom Filipino today. Forty nine ninety nine. Two easy payments <laughs> plus shipping and handling. We would, by the way, we wouldn't pay for the uh, upgraded shipping for that, would we? We no, would no, just no. get the, the the regular the boat. <laughs> All right, uh, who else is on there? I think that I think a girl girls are preferable keep going, keep to on. replace this is fun. a girl. We don't need another dude. Oh, in a little. All right, look All at right. this guy. All right, look at this guy. Cute. Hi, bad friends. My name's Anthony. I'm 19, and I have what it takes to be the next Rudy. I live in L. I live in Wisconsin. I don't live in L.A. I have uh, a lot of mental trauma, and I I love you guys, and I have a lot of traits that two men would want in a woman 
Andrew Santino, you totally forgot that you had a show in Wisconsin last week. And you said, oh, I've got shows in Salt Lake City and Boston, but I forgot the other one, and that was Wisconsin, unfortunately. So I got my tickets refunded because you do not care about your fans, and now you guys are going in a microwave. <laughs> All right, goodbye. He ruined his phone just for the bit. That's great. Wow. Wow. Good for that. Who's that? Was that kid Anthony? That Very was good. Really good. I like him. He's a distorted Matt Damon. Almost. What do you think? I like him, but he seems aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right. That's a good. Perfect. You read that. That's hey, good. Honestly, please take notes next to it that says, I, I like but aggressive. Actually, rename it. Rename the file Anthony in parentheses. I like but aggressive. I need to have her yeah, quotes yeah. on the files. I like but aggressive. And then what did you say about, let's mark for first guy, Peter. What did you think about the first guy again? What was your instinct with him? He's funny. He's funny. funny. Yeah, Great. Yeah. That's all we need to say. Yeah, he's funny. And Savannah, number two, the girl that we just had, what did we say about her? I like her. I shouted, I like her. I And right, please write, I <laughs> shouted, I like, I like her. her. Very good. Well, dude, so far we got three good candidates and a guy who keep ruined going, his phone. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep <laughs> it going. I'll tell you why, though, that guy's good. He didn't really ruin the phone. No, of course he cut not. early. Yeah. Right. So they made a sound effect later, I think. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was really good. Very smart. Clever. Okay. All right. Here, we, here go. we go. Another lady. At friends, it's Gianna from Texas for like the third time. Oh, yeah. We know her. Masks, orangutan tips. <laughs> <laughs> I'll definitely um, love to be a temporary Rudy for you guys until you find the Rudy that you love. You have someone on that will make you laugh. She's, you know what's great about There's her? something about her that's very, like, perfect for us. Because she doesn't give a fuck. I love how, how little she gives she a fuck. She doesn't, yeah. She's, just, she was do, she's like running errands. What do you say about her? She's very warm. I like her presence. Okay. She also, um. Very warm. I like her presence. For somebody to look their, look at their own breasts and go, yeah, they're orangutan. That's what she said to us on yeah, the call. Yeah, she's yeah. like, I got orangutan tits. That's cool. She's the shit. Yeah, yeah. I like her very much. I don't All even right. know what orangutan tits look like. Sure you do. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I do know. Helix, Helix sleep. sleep. Let me tell you something about Helix sleep, Andrew. Yep. Um, my brother, um, about 20 years ago, I bought him a mattress at Ikea. Okay. And he slept on that mattress for, for 20 years. 20 years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was slanted. There was like um, um, bugs in it. Yeah, bed bugs. Bed bugs, yeah. And my brother couldn't sleep well. So I got him a Helix Sleep. Yeah. Every single day, he'll text me and go, or call me and go, thank you so much. It's like I'm sleeping in heaven. That's amazing. It really is. No, they are so nice. They're so nice. Well, here's what's annoying about Helix Sleep. I have one in the house in the guest bedroom. And when people come over, it's more comfortable than our bed that we had in our room. So then we had to get another one. Yeah, and so, everybody's unique, right? Yeah. You're unique. You're red and weird looking, right? Orange, but yeah. Yeah, and Helix knows that. So they have several different mattress models to choose from. They have soft, medium, and firm mattresses. Mattresses is great for cooling you down mm. if you sleep hot. And even a Helix Plus mattress for plus size folks. Like you. Helix Sleep has a quiz that takes just two minutes to complete and matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. And I'm telling you, it does work because yeah. it feels so nice because I don't like super soft mattresses and uh, we have the perfect one. It's you so nice. You also take a, like a quick quiz. Yeah, that's what it is. A simple yeah. quiz. Yeah. And it, they send you the perfect mattress for your body, even for plus size Guys like me. Like you. Helix is awesome. You don't need to take our word for it. They were awarded the number one overall mattress pick of 2020 by GQ and Wired Magazine, baby. Just go to helixsleep.com slash badfriends, take their two-minute sleep quiz, and they'll match you to a customized mattress that will give you the best sleep of your life. They have a 10-year warranty. You get to try it out for 100 nights, risk-free. They even pick it up for you if you don't love it. But you will! You will. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash badfriends. Friends. That's helixleep.com slash bad friends. Liquid, Liquid IV. IV. Oh my God, this is love, my favorite product love this ever. Stuff. Because if you haven't tried it, what are you doing? What are you doing? Because it's like water's boring. Water is very boring. Yeah, yeah. There's this nothing stuff, to man, it. jazzes it up. Big get, time. Yeah, you get nutrients and. The, the Liquid IV plus immune support is so good. By the way, everyone is trying to fight off whatever else is going on out there. So, first thing in the morning before a workout, if you feel run down, hungover, which I do often. 
uh, Liquid IV helps you take care of all that nonsense. It just makes you feel great and it makes you feel healthier. And th and they've donated over 10 million sticks to people around the world as well. So they're good people. Oh, that's pretty awesome. And the new hydration multiplier P plus uh, has vitamin C and it boosts your immune uh, system, zinc, which we all need uh, right zinc now. Zinc as well. Zinc as well and is in I'll, there. Can I just say something about this stuff, man? Yeah. There's... I've, you know, I love flavors. Yeah. This has the best flavors. It does have the best flavors. If you're sick of just drinking regular tap it's water. Wa boring. Juice it up with some liquid IV. Make it feel good. All right. It's the optimum ratio of glucose, sodium, potassium. It's future potassium. drinking because it's like, you know, it's a blend of the most by cell. It has cellular transport technology. Yeah. Pretty That's good. That's like from Blade Runner stuff. Man. And check this out. I know Bob loves this. Yeah. With every purchase, liquid IV donates a serving of liquid IV to someone in need. So we're helping people while you're helping your body feel good yes, and it tastes good. All right. Sir. Get your Liquid IV's Hydration Multiplier plus immune support in bulk at Costco or order it online. Get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com. Use the code BADFRIENDS That's at checkout. That's 25% of anything you order when you get better hydration today using promo code BADFRIENDS at liquidiv.com. Here's uh, Nathan. I'm auditioning for Rudy on the Bad Guys podcast because <laughs> I've Perfect. been... A good uh, replacement, you know, like I'm Filipino, I like knives, I like anime as well. I'm not quiet though, so if you want, okay, you're mm -hmm. <laughs> give me a call. Well, I get it, and He's I cute. like it. Yeah, what do you say, Rude? He's very honest. He's very honest, very honest. man. You're so descriptive, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she should prefer like a company that like describes things on like for you know I mean like yeah. on food does food. descriptions of yeah, food. yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. for advertise an advertisement agency. Imagine if she worked at an advertising agency yeah, yeah, yeah. and they were like, "Rudy, how's that drink?" And she's like, "It's warm and I like liquid." Like, <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Well, you're in. All right, let's get another woman. Let's get another lady. Is there another lady? Uh, well, I mean, I think ladies this. would work because here's the problem. Mm. You and I, you're very a alpha male. Correct. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I you're can very, be. I'm, you, I'm I'm a cross between both. You're. I can be you innocent are. and like being the victim, <laughs> but I can also be. No. Yes. I'm sorry. I correct. do a victim thing. No. The best. Well, you're the best. Yeah. Victim I'm very I know. victim. Like, ah, oh, poor 100%. me. This yep. and that. But then I can also go real alpha male and attack and mean and be and a be bully aggressive. and mean. Right. Hundred percent. So I'm between. So we're both. You know, we need somebody. Female That's why energy. she works is because yeah. she has none of that. <laughs> yeah. All right, this is uh who is this? This is Billy. All right, let's see Billy. Hi, uh this is my audition for the I want to be Rudy thing that you posted. Um I'm not sure how these go or what you're supposed to say in them. Um, I'm not an actress or anything. But my name's Billy and um I'm half Colombian. I was born in Venezuela though. I grew up in Indonesia. I don't know what you're supposed to talk about in these things. Um yeah, I love the show. I started watching it probably about six months ago or something like that and only recently heard about bobby lee and andrew santino probably about a year and a half ago or something okay and i just love the show i think it's great and i'd love to be a part of it and um yeah i don't know what else to talk about but if you uh need any more information you can get in touch with me and uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know what you know what i'm gonna say what? The only person that would match her innocence so far I has think been she's that girl. The best. She's so far the best. So innocent, so sweet and normal. She's sincere and yeah. authentic, and yeah. she can tell that she's a little scared and a little scared. Know, and she doesn't really know what's going. I really like her a lot. Honestly, you, what do you think? She's the best. Rudy likes her so much. Put that much. down. You. She's the best. She's the best. Yeah. Something about her was so yeah. honestly and innocent, and yeah. like she honestly, she was like. I don't know. I don't. I yeah. think she. And I think in the middle of the filming, she was like, "I don't even know if I want to do this." Right. That's kind of why. Yeah. I, I don't know how. She, I like those. I don't know how this goes. <laughs> yeah, it's great. You know what I mean, Billy, you're you're in the front, according yeah. to Rude Rude Rude. She's number one right now. Number one. Any more women? Any more girls? How many more women? Jazz. Let's just look at the women. Sure. Okay. Um. Okay. Already. Okay. Already. The look is there. I mean, what do you? What, uh, okay. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Rudy, and everybody at Bad Friends. Okay. Before I begin my audition tape, I actually wanted to take the time and tell you guys that I did create a jingle. This was a couple weeks ago um, for Bad Friends. It's not perfect yet, but I do want to just, you know, sing it for you guys, and I hope that you guys like oh, it. Oh, so cool. There it goes. 
Hey everybody, thanks for listening. We like being funny and laughing all the way. Here we got Andrew and Tito Bobby. Don't forget about Jules, she's quiet but naughty. But anyways, we'll see you next week. Thank you for being a bad friend. Wow. Um, but anyways, my name is Jasmine and I am 27 years old and I am from New Jersey. I don't currently live in California, but it's always been a dream of mine to live in LA just because I've always wanted to work in the entertainment space, um, preferably in music, but you know, anything along those lines just so I could work my way up, you know, and learn about the industry, the backbone, you know, everything that goes with it. Um, I do have two degrees. Um, I have a bachelor's and a master's in communications. <laughs> I learned everything with marketing, social media, broadcasting, and public relations. I am a freelance social media manager. Um, okay. 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 All right, we're gonna, can we? Uh, no, keep, 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 oh. I want to go to the end. Oh, I want to go to the end. Okay. We're going to. Oh. No, no, no. No, no, don't. Just, oh, no, where? go. Just play oh. it all the way through. I want to listen to the whole thing. Okay. Hope to hear from you guys. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> she, uh, look, she is sweet. She, first of all, number one. First here, of all, here, here. first of all, the song was fucking Amazing, dope. Right? That was dope. She's a go getter. Big time. She wants it. Go getter. She, she does. Right? Um, I feel like someone like this, honestly, is not a Rudy, but also is very like she's someone that could be on the Bad Friends team. I don't know. I mean, she could replace some other people. I know. You talking about fans? No, it's other people. Fancy, yeah. I, honestly, I want you to sing kind of what she said. So, you know, as close as you can. Okay. You are funny, and Tito Andrew not so fun. I like working at Bath Friends a lot. It's good enough. The lyrics are great. <laughs> the lyrics are how many? How many do we have left? One more girl, right? We have one more girl, yeah. Let's see the, last one. <laughs> the lyrics are great, by the way. <laughs> I love that, whatever that is. That's a tapestry of something. Tapestry. Hi. Hi. Hi, Bobby. Santino. Hey. Fancy B. Hey. 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 Rudy Jules and the one that shall not be named. That's right. My name is Mia Seals. And I'm 22 years old. I just graduated with an art degree. Get closer to the mic. I, I think this is close. Good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Although I do not eat foreign festivals a day, I do like Attack on Titan. <laughs> it's, like, it's like he's going to prison. No, but that's a... Uh... The thing is, is that I'm a young female. I can do the job. Oh, she's cool. She's good. I like her. She's cool because you can tell she's a fan. She's what do you slated? say? Slated because yeah. we talked about slating one she, time. Yeah, she slated. Right, yeah. right. What did you? What do you say, Rude? I feel like she's a top two. Okay, top two. Write it down. I feel like she's a top two. Two. By the way, we didn't. We didn't even have Rudy comment, uh, and I apologize about Jasmine. What did Jasmine, we say about yeah, Jasmine, Jasmine again? What one. did we say about her? She's very sweet, but her speech was very long. Write that down. It was speech, very sweet, speech. but very long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, would you say, um, is there any guys looking worth looking at? Have you seen the videos? Right? He's is there him. a guy that's worth looking at? I mean, they're all worth looking at, obviously. Well, there's just too many, is what you mean. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, already know. Well, I already, <laughs> already know. All right, okay. Tito Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great video, dude. Dude, can we give that guy a gig? Whatever it is, yeah, that's we gotta awesome. Get him something. That's so good. That was good. That's all he did. Yeah, that's all he did. Play that again. That's so yeah, fucking that's so good. good, dude. That's that guy so knocked good. it out of the yeah, fucking yeah, park. It's simple. Less is more. Tito Bobby. Yes, bro. Uh, I gotta tell think? you. What do you think? He's funny. He's funny. Thanks, okay, Jules. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, well, today. Is there another one? He's funny. Honestly, he's really good. He's David. Really good. Joseph. Okay. Here's Joseph. <laughs> Every time I now I read a name, I just do it with a Philippine Joseph. Tito Bobby. I think Lila said we can't go out because <laughs> of COVID. 
you know. Is it raining? Can't go to Starbucks. But, you know, um, go, go close to the mic. Uh, uh, I, I like anime. Because um, they got cute eyes. And they're petite. But, but Tito, Tito Bobby, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh come on, man. Udi, you won't even your bad friends. <laughs> bad friends, you mean? <laughs> Sila Bobby, <laughs> Tito Bobby, mo, Tito Andrew, mo, <laughs> iiwan mo na lang. <laughs> no, come on, don't, don't leave bad friends. Oh, you're Filipino, no. you know, you can, you can do anything like, you know, get tortured <laughs> and still live on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you know, with the Spaniards, like fancy B. Yeah. You know, come on. Puta yan, kaya mo, kaya mo yan. You can do it, motherfucker. Come on. That you guy's under, you understand, like him. Do you understand his language? Yeah. What do you say? He just said, um, it's bad friends, don't leave. And it's Tito Bobby, he's funny. Tito Andrew, funny. What was the last part? Was said, uh, bang, bang, come on. He said, putang ina, motherfucker. What? Oh, motherfucker. Mm. Putani, wait, wait. Putani ma. Putani ma? Putang ina. Putang ina? Putang ima. Ina. Ina. Uh, putang ina. Putang ina? Putang ina. I'm saying it good, right? Putang yeah, ina? Make it faster. Putang, putang ina. ina. Putang ina? Putang ina. Ah, putang ina! Yeah, like putang that. Putang ina! <laughs> Great. Yeah. Can I say that now? Yeah. Putang that, ina. That's motherfucker? Mm. Cool. Putang ina! I'm going to write it down, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll do it later. You can. T- I live with you. you so, so of all these people so far, I guess what we've come to is you like uh, Billy. One. Billy's number one. Okay, so maybe we'll have to reach out and do like a Zoom with Billy and see if maybe she qualifies. Uh... Oh, by the way, George Lopez says hi. Hey, what's up, George? He did. Okay, hi. Hey, what's up? Yeah, yeah. That's all. Uh, how how that was? Uh, oh, right, you did the cast. That's true. No, what what he cast? He did a he did Tiger Belly. Yeah, he did the podcast. Yeah, That's yeah. what I meant. He did the cast. Oh, the cast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, let me ask one real question mm-hmm. about George. What was he early? Way early. Yeah. Well, how do you know? He's notoriously prompt. Is the way I'll say it. No, I well, really? That's... Because he was like, we were like, I was smoking outside, no shirt on. <laughs> I was in my balcony. I'm like, oh, we have 20 minutes. He's not gonna be. Right? I've heard that he is remarkably sharp. And he time. was right there. Yeah. In I've my heard, driveway. Yeah. What's up, bro? I think he takes things very serious in the business in that yeah, regard. Yeah. That's why, dude, you oh, that's a marking of someone that I see that's been in the game for a long time, that's good at what they do. Mm-hmm. They're it's like Steve Harvey, where you're like, Oh, this motherfucker. They they is, have this old they, school professionalism. Yes, dude. Right? Because I remember when I was um in the late nineties. Yeah. The first time I opened for somebody, I was in it was going to I was going to Texas. I think I was opening for Polly in Addison or something, right? Yeah. And I was taking a flight and George Lopez was in the middle seat of a Southwestern airline. I'd already seen him on Arsenio. And I was just thinking to myself, wow, he's not in first class. He's sitting middle seat. And what a work ethic. You oh, know what I mean? dude. Yeah. What a work ethic. And then every time I would go on the road, he was always somewhere. Yeah. Working somewhere. But those guys. Grinding it out. They're menta- they're, you said it. The professionalism of that generation is fucking unmatched. Those guys were just the top tits because they knew there's so much competition back then. Mm. Now people can make their own work. Yeah, I, I find it to be a far more difficult now, do you think, or no? Well, here's the thing. I think there were so few jobs back then that you had to be so good and so on your shit, right? Where now we make our own, like this is our own show. Well, in the 80s. It's just different. But in the, okay, first of all, in the 80s, there was never a boom like there was in the late 70s and 80s. Sure. In the 80s of like every city, five or six comedy clubs would spring up. Yeah, it was like And and everyone's grandmother was doing it and mother, or everyone was doing it. Well, when when you started, how many people when you okay? You so start, I grew. Up, I, I started what they called the dark ages in ninety ninety five five. Yeah, when you started, it was dog shit. Everyone had dropped out. The clubs had all failed. The clubs were closing. Right. Nobody was doing it anymore. It yeah. wasn't like the cool thing to do. Right. And so it, I'm lucky in this way, a sense that like you know, it was um, the people that were doing it were the ones that were really doing, like should be doing it, or the ones that were like survivalists, like they were gonna. Yeah, because people would go, "You're doing stand up comedy. Why?" Right. What a nightmare! Yeah, yeah, right. Terrible. But and that, it, but that generation, that that his generation, that made it through all that shit too. I mean, because they had to go from things are great to oh my to god, the dark ages, and yeah. now they're back up again. Yeah, and his um, 
you know, he's just he's just a he was very nice. You know, he's a smart. I'll he tell didn't you this. say he didn't say hi. I know he didn't. He's a smart dude. <laughs> He's a smart dude. He's very funny. Yeah. Uh, and it's that generation of guy that I do think I respect very much about how, what they what they did for the game. And like, honestly, it's up to us to do that for the next – because it's not – the thing is changing, dude. I mean, did you see – I wanted to be so supportive, but Coming to America too. I did not watch it. I did see the – I did see it on my Netflix or whatever. What is on HBO? I don't know. Amazon. But there was a it's scene. It, it's on, is it Amazon? Yeah. Oh. And you want to root for it, right? No, I don't. Because our friends are in it? No, you just kind of want to root for because it's comedy. No, I don't. I disagree. I don't like sequels of I, in that regard. I think it's like leave those things alone. I, I've always been that way. I'm like, why did you? Why we don't? All right, but that's why I saw it. No, I didn't need Dumb and Dumber again. I don't need. All right, all right I don't fine, need but Caddy that's why, Shack too. I I'm don't, just telling you why I, I saw it. I don't want Animal House again. Leave these things alone. I know. Leave I them get, alone. I know. All right, so you support it, but but, but yeah, we have friends that are in it, so which is yeah, nice. I have so many people that I, I know. So many people. Very in, right? nice. But I couldn't get through. There's in the opening in the opening, right? Is it bad? Oh my god, it's that bad. It's like so. What's the fucking McDonald's? McDowell's? Yeah, was McDowell's. It, McDowell's? it was called McDowell's, McDowell's right? yeah. So I don't know what what's the country that Eddie Murphy's character comes from. It's some it's some is it is it a African country that's Zamunda. like well, it's it's Zamunda. Yeah, Zamunda. The, yeah, Zamunda, Zamunda, right? Yeah. So now there's a McDowell's in, in Zamunda. In Zamunda. The very funny. I like that. Right. So there's a scene where, you know, um, Eddie Murphy, you know, Arsenio Hall's character, yeah. they're all at McDowell's. In and it, Zamunda. Yeah, and it's shot in a weird way where it's like, basically it's a wide shot, essentially, right? And you have, you know, the main cast, but then you have people around them staying around them, and everyone says something. But Louis Anderson's there. Love. Who, like, because he was in the first movie. He worked at McDowell's. Yeah, in Chicago or wherever it might have been, right? He was the mop boy at McDowell's. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So now he lives in Zamunda. Everyone's there. Because he's a, you know, Louis's doing great. Yeah. It is. <sighs> Say it. <laughs> if I, 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 I wanted to take my iPad. I was watching on my iPad, right? <laughs> yeah. Lay it down on my hard wooden floor. Or put it in a microwave. Put my anus against you mean the screen and just <laughs> just shit your way through it yeah it was that bad really not one joke made you laugh it it just the it just the whole thing made me cringe but it, okay let be honest was it because of the reminiscent of how much you liked the original or was it because it was just I, it just didn't seem right it, it's almost as huh. if like um we were living in a different dimension right like right. I, I was like some evil dimension. Right. Right. And like, I was like tied to like a chair made out of meat carcasses. <laughs> you know what I mean? And there were like yeah. eyeballs flying by <laughs> with wings. Right. Right. And like, you know, I open, I see my hands and there's teeth like, right. And I'm being, I, 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 right. Right. And there's like a fat lady that's slimy. Yeah. Right. With like a f two forks sticking out of her eyes. <laughs> right. Like, <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. And then they, and, and the lady with the forks, Right. She comes and gives me the iPad and shows me the scene. And I'm in this meat carcass scene. <laughs> ah! you know I mean, that's what it felt like. Like, it was a nightmare. By the way, that's the best movie review I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Ship Station. Oh, my God. I love Ship Station. I'll tell you why. We use it here at Bad Friends. That's right. We do. If you're selling stuff online, you're definitely in the right business. More people are shopping online than ever. That means a lot of orders coming in and a lot of orders you'll need to ship out fast. That's right. That's why online sellers like you need ShipStation, baby. No matter how much you sell or what you sell, they make it super easy to manage and ship all your orders and your sales channels faster, cheaper, and more efficiently. Import orders from any sales channel. That's right. Ship with any carrier. Access discounted shipping rates. And automate just about any shipping task. We use it. We love it. No matter what you're selling, the Amazon, Etsy, or your own website, they funnel all your orders into one simple interface. And Bob and I are going to continue to use ShipStation so you can grab our moich and all the other stuff that we're going to be putting out to you guys in the future. Uh, small businesses now can access the same rates, usually reserved for Fortune 500 companies. So it's, it's pretty it's good. It's got a five-star review rating everywhere. Everywhere. All right? You need to use it. Ship more in less time, you guys. Use the offer code BADFRIENDS to get a 60-day free trial. That's two-month free of no hassle, stress-free shipping. Go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, type in bad friends. ShipStation.com, enter enter code bad friends. Make ship happen. Hello, Hello Fresh. Fresh. Oh my God. You know what, Andrew? Yeah. The best hamburger 
I've ever had in my life. It was HelloFresh. Oh, my God. No, seriously. Because Jules and I, the other night, right, we had a HelloFresh, and we picked it up, right? And we made that hamburger. How good was it? Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Pre- yeah, pretty good. With HelloFresh, you get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and mouth rotting seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. They let you skip those trips to the grocery store and makes home cooking very easy, fun, and affordable. Because, you know, cooking and you know, and, and, and it's, it's stressful. It's annoying. Right? Yeah. HelloFresh cuts out all the stressful meal yep. planning and grocery store trips, and you can just enjoy cooking and get a dinner on the table in 30 minutes or less. No, it is good. 10 to 20 minute meals, low prep, quick breakfast and lunches. Uh, they got over 25 re- recipes to choose from. We will do sometimes the vegetarian ones, and I'm not a vegetarian, but those are good too. I got to tell you. It's also a healthier lifestyle because everything, all the movie, all the ingredients are clean. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it's yeah. so cool. It, they offer the flexibility you need with customizable orders every single week. You can change your delivery days and food preferences, skip a week if you need to. So, you also, know. Also, it's, it's like, you know, I don't cook and stuff. And it's like when I open up a HelloFresh, you know, a box. It's easy. And I look at the ingredients and, and, the, and the directions. It's like I can make it myself. Yeah. It's easy. And I, you know, for a split second, I feel like I'm a gourmet chef. You are a gourmet chef. These are very easy to follow, yeah. and it always comes out pretty good. Go to HelloFresh.com slash BadFriends12 and use code BadFriends12 for 12 free meals, including free shipping. Go to HelloFresh.com slash BadFriends12. Use the code BadFriends12 for 12 free meals, including free shipping. <laughs> 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 right. And it was just at that point, right, I was sweating. Yo, you were getting my nervous. shirt off uh, was off, and I was yeah. like, you know, what I mean, like I was having a panic. Yeah, and because I love the first movie. I mean, w- literally Cla- one of my favorite classic. movies of all time. Yes, classic, right? Yes. And then they're doing. Then you could see they're doing other people's. You know, they have the other characters. Well, they well they were using old jokes too. No, yeah, Arsenio is playing the other characters. They you know they play three or four different characters. Yeah, at the right? barber shop. But it's like Arsenio is so old. He still looks like the old guy. You know what I mean? Like that. There's a preacher guy who's old too. Yeah, yeah. They look the same age now. <laughs> like it's as, as almost as if they didn't even have to do makeup or whatever. Right. They're like, "You're good." You have to watch it. It's something special. Well, I want. I wanted to. I wanted to watch it, but I didn't because I just. I like supporting our people that we know that are in things. But yeah. But my issue with those things, I'm telling you, I hate remake or like not remakes, but what are they? What's that called, Andres? You're, what is it? Sequel. It's kind of, they're but it's sequel. not they're, really they're, a sequel because it's the remakes. The remakes. Reboot. No, reboot. that's right. It's reboot. reboot. That's exactly reboot. right. It's called a yeah. reboot. Yeah, like Ghostbusters. It was a reboot. It wasn't a sequel. It wasn't a remake. The all female cast was a reboot. Okay, so I'm trying to think of. I've never. I haven't. I haven't heard of one reboot in my mind that I said. Oh, I'm glad they did that. All right, I'm thinking about it right now. Let me think. because there was one called that was one of the worst movies ever made. It was called Flatliners. Oh, I remember Flatliners. Yeah. I know. I know I, yes, I remember that movie. So the first movie was okay as growing up. Correct. Right? Yeah. They redid it. I know. Oh, my God. Wait. And I always watch them. Right. Oh, you know what? Oh, well, there you go. What about what about Godzilla? Yeah, and- the first Godzilla, the 2014 Godzilla with Brian Cranston. Yeah, it was great. Was great. Yeah, it was so good. That was good. Okay, so okay, so we got one. Okay, but I just saw uh, another Kong versus... No, I wouldn't watch it. I refuse. Why? I just don't want that. It's just because I can't see it in a movie theater, honestly. Yeah. I need to see that in a movie theater. Why am I watching that at my house on my iPad? It's just. The movie theaters are open. Are they open again? Yeah, they are. Not here in LA. I saw yeah, the theater. Are. You went to see a movie? Yeah. Why the. F- also, when they advertise it, you know, premiering on at movie theaters and IMAX, HBO Max. Right. It's like, I'll watch it here. I'll watch it here. Yeah, but that movie, what did you go see in the theater, Drace? I went to see the Con versus Godzilla. Did okay. You, what did you think of and it? How was it? It was pretty bad. <laughs> it's but it, you know here's what takes me out of it in the beginning of the, right. It's just they show Kong right. Yeah. In the jungle, right, Andreas? Yeah. And he's like, he wakes up, he smells the you know trees. Yeah. And then there's a waterfall, and he's taking a shower. Cute. Right? Like a cute, it's cute. almost as if Kong, you know what I mean? He seemed way too human, right? Uh. And cute for me, right? And, 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 and as soon as they did that, and also, you can tell it's CGI. They couldn't get a real Kong? No. That's not my point, man. I know what you're saying. No, my point but is- did, But let me ask this. Is there a reason they humanized him for the sake of the story of the film, Andres? No, it was just like the scene in Shrek, you know, like kind of like that opening oh. in Shrek, making it that, so that cute. wasn't a, that wasn't like a choice. That was just it's, a thing they did. Yeah, it wasn't for the film. It's like a video game. The whole movie is like, oh, oh, here. Here, right. here's my point. Okay, oh. my point. I'm not a movie reviewer, but here's my point. Okay, the what makes 
that Godzilla from 2014, good. Yeah. Is you don't see Godzilla until like 25% in, in, in the movie. All right, so we'll, we'll, we'll poo poo that. But you know what? When they do American remakes in movies, right? Like the, like the Ring, the American Ring. Yeah, it was good. Was scary. I liked it. Yeah, it was. Oh, have you seen? You saw the American Ring. I think. Good. Mm. I don't. I don't remember. The Ring. Yeah, I. Re- I watched The Ring. Can I tell you something? Yeah. You've been on the show now for so long. Even if you didn't, just say yes and just okay. go with it. The American Ring was good. You you liked it, right? Bob, I saw The Ring with you. No. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Rudy. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. That was a test. <laughs> that was that so was good. That was so good. Rudy Jules. <laughs> oh, yeah. Swish. God, you're good. Yeah. But so I bring this up because um, LeBron is doing um, Space Jam. Space Jam. Yeah. No, thanks. But did you see the. Trailer? The original is one of my favorites. But did you see the trailer, though? Yes. It looks, looks cool. Pretty good. It looks cool, but I. But, I know. It's just something about... And also, Michael Jordan. Uh, Michael Jordan. Right. Michael Jordan. What do you mean? Michael Jordan. But it's also, you know, at one point, these movies like Predator, or whatever these movies are, yeah. right? At one point, these movies were original. Planet of the Apes, right? That's, right. So Ghost, yeah. Ghostbusters, when you first saw it, you had never seen anything like it. Yep. It's like, you know, it's played real, but the, the ghosts are, you know I mean, goofy and cartoony. Totally. Four really funny people, you know what I mean? In yeah. the In the movie, right? And it's just like it's action packed, it's f- uh, family friendly, yeah, right? To a degree, adults like it. You know what I mean? Because Bill Murray is like oh, the king at the time. You know, in terms of, he still is, right? Yeah. And it just it worked, and right? Her- Harold Ramis is a genius. It is a genius. So my point is, is that you know, at one point these movies were original. It just came from somebody's mind, right? And it's fresh, right? And then when you redo it, it's like, what happened to creativity? Let's take a fucking risk. Well, they don't want to take a shot right now because Hollywood's owned by China and we have to have films that sell well overseas. Andres, am I right? Absolutely. 100%. You have to have sell. These films all have to do well overseas now. It used to be independent studios could exist. They could invest in a small movie like Lauren Michaels' Slate used to get more love, right? Like a, a sketch on SNL could be a, a fucking dynamite movie. Yeah. Now those things are impossible to make. Yeah. Coneheads, one of my favorite movies of all time. Coneheads was so funny. Yeah. Talking about an original concept, an alien family that gets to fit in with the normal family. He becomes the most beloved guy in his neighborhood. Dan Aykroyd was so fucking funny in that. That movie couldn't be made now. Who yeah. You'd have to sell that with like, I don't know, fucking Chris Hemsworth and... and what, 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 what? Jackie Chan, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe because, right? Yeah, it just, it just, you can't, it's just not the same. You know what we watched last night? I put up a clip online. Two nights ago, we watched Beverly Hills Ninja, Farley's movie. Mm. Bro, yeah. I fucking loved, loved that movie. Yeah, and, yeah. and I watched it again thinking, is this going to be as funny now? Yeah. Yep. Didn't even miss, didn't miss a fucking beat. It was so fucking funny. That's why when you watch something like, I mean, think about this, like Dr. Strangelove. I mean, what a great film. Right? Yeah. They, that, that will, a, a movie like that will never happen again. Maybe I, I mean the odds of it though. I, I you know what I want to do. You know what I would do right now because I've never really done this. I'm gonna tell you, and this is really true. I'm not just saying this out of my own mind, right? Just to you know, the, my top ten movies are movies that everyone has to see because they're movies they'll never make again. Type of movies. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm not gonna do ten of them. I'll just do three, two or three. Okay. <laughs> oh, I know, but you just seem so disappointed in it. Well, because I th- I was like, whoa, cool. You're gonna do ten. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't because I'm just thinking of it right now, right? Okay. right? All right, give it. So, D- Peter Sellers in the movie, being there, being there. Did you see it? No. Paris, Texas. I've seen Paris, Texas. Yeah, yeah, but that's Vin not... Vendors. That's one of my favorite movies. Oh, okay. No, 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 I like it. Yeah. <sighs> Go ahead. Why is it so hot in here? <laughs> hot Have you noticed it's really hot in here? It's hot outside. They're trying to sweat us out. Okay, Paris, yes. Texas is great. Yeah, Paris, Texas is great. And I'll tell you how the movie ends. And- Opens. Well, don't say, don't give anything. How it opens, how it opens. Oh, yeah. First of all, it's my favorite love story of all time. Is it? Oh, yeah. You know what mine is? What? Raising Arizona. Dude, bro. What are you standing for? 
I don't know. I thought we were... <laughs> what, what are you standing for? You stood up. I stood up. No, I thought we were going to hug or no, kiss no, or fight. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that scared the fuck out of me. I, I wanted to fuck you just now. I know I was gonna, yeah, yeah, I was gonna, yeah, yeah, I was gonna yeah, yeah. kiss you, but I came yeah, too yeah, hot. Yeah, yeah, that was really. I really, came in too really hot. Aggressive. I gotta work on that. You gotta dude. slow. Let me do it again, right? right go ahead. This is how you should have done it, all right. right? Well, no, let's see. Paris, yeah, see okay. that raising Arizona. Well, you know what my favorite love story is? What? Raising Arizona. No, no, you're doing it wrong. Too hot. I'm coming in too hot. Damn, I gotta learn how to do this. Wait, do what? Right. How is that balancing? Can you do it with your face first? Yeah, sorry. Try it with your face, <laughs> All right. right? All right, yeah, my bad. So do, try it with your face first and then slowly maybe get up. Okay, here. Right? But don't be so, like, aggressive. Well, you know what my favorite love story is? What? Raising Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, okay. It is such a good movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it really is good. Nathan Arizona, sell you some furniture. Have you seen that movie? Yes. Correct. Yeah, what is it about? It's about a family who lives in Arizona. That's right. Mm-hmm. And it's a comedy skit. It is a comedy, a comedy skit. skit, right? And then what is it? That's just the premise about though. Um, they go. Don't pick at your cheese pie plate. They Focus. go. They go. <laughs> they go to school, they or to they school. go to work. The adults mm. and yeah. Okay, that's also true. That's What's true. the big thing that happens in the movie? What do they do? What do these two do in the movie? They get a. They get in prison. They get in prison. prison. Well, that's right. That's because right. you saw the photo. That's right. They get in prison. That's very nice. Okay. Yeah. So I'm glad you like that. Uh, one of my favorites of all time. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. What's are, you, are you a Coen Brothers fan? Yeah. What the fuck? What haven't they made that I like? That I don't right. like? I mean, I, they, I don't think I've disliked any of their movies. Like even Barton Fink? Sure. It's fine. It's fine. It's weird. I like it because yeah, it's yeah. quirky. It's, it, it's it, Look, quirky. It's, not yeah. a, it's not something I'm going to watch again. Hot Sucker Proxy? Fine. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah fine. Yeah, yeah. But then they have like country of no co no country no country of old, old men. Yeah. Oh my god! One of the best god. movies one of the all best time. Movie. Yeah, Fargo. Come on! Oh, give me a fucking one break. of the best. Okay, well there's there's a caveat. Yeah, Fargo the TV show, I loved as much as I loved the fucking movie. I, and the, here's the thing: I've never seen it. What? Uh, it people, is. Everyone such a tells good... me. Everyone tells me to Holy watch it. Holy fuck! And I go, ah, oh, just I love the movie so much. No, dude, you would love. Have you seen the TV show, Trace? Yeah. It, how good is it? It's incredible. It's the fucking, look at me, oh. fucking incredible. Right, You've right. seen Fargo, right? Yes. Right? Remember yes. what happens in that pilot episode of Fargo, the TV show? The father, the father sh shits himself. Shits himself. It's unreal, dude. You have to see it, Bobby. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> and, and on the heels of that, and on the it heels of that, the and on the heels of that, he shits himself. And then what happened? <laughs> remember what his mother does then when he when the, she finds out? The mom, the mom makes is, it into makes, a pie. Makes it into a pie. It makes it into a pie. The shit. The shit. Wow. It's a shit pie. That's like sounds a, really good. The pilot episode is called a sh "Eat Shit Pie." Yeah, yeah, it sounds really good, Bob. So really, holy, because everyone tells me to watch it. It was one go, of my favorite I, shows. I, don't, I refuse. It was so. It's so oh, every good. season. I mean, particularly the first. Is, is that the one Billy Bob Thornton's in? Yes, yeah. particularly the first. That being said, they were all really fucking good. But ever, I'll tell you about my Billy Bob Thornton though. Well, you don't like that he kissed us? Uh, mm -hmm. That he he. No, uh, the Canadian radio show. Oh what? What about the Canadian? I don't know. You know what happened, right? No. Oh, but the Canadian road. Yeah, you do. What? <laughs> you don't know about the Canadian radio show? I, should I? I don't know. I'm lost. All right, so he's in a band, right? He play, you're I know. He's in a live band, right? Correct. Yeah. And he's they're opening up for Willie Nelson in Canada. They were, yeah. Right. So Billy Bob Thornton. Is on a radio show that's that's on YouTube, right? You can see it, uh -huh. right? And he, I guess before the interview, he tells that. I remember. Then why did you make me even? You just clicked it into my brain. Well, he tells the DJ, "Don't bring up that. Don't I'm, bring up back. I'm I'm an actor, right? Right, which is so fucking dumb. Yeah, that's how we know. That's you. how we know you fucking idiot, <laughs> right? And you're good at it. One of the best. And you're a good musician. They have no, one has nothing to do with the other. They can both exist. They can exist. Right. right? So as soon as um, he brings... In the beginning, he opens with it. Yeah. He's a great actor, right? Loses And as it. soon as Billy Bob just shuts down. Yeah, dude. And won't answer any questions. He's such a dick. Right? Yeah. And he starts talking about random things. Like he's asked a direct question. He talks about like toys that he grew up you know I mean, owning. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And um, ever since then, I was just kind of like... You lost respect for him. Yeah. I, That's not I, a cool move to me. It's just not cool. For the, that I disrespected him? No, no, no. What, what he, he did. did. It's just, don't, it's, you don't do it's, that. It's weird. Also, by the way, you didn't want to do radio? Don't fucking do it then. Yeah. If you're above it, don't fucking do it. Why'd you show up? Yeah. You didn't have to. You could have said, you know, we're not really doing radio interviews You know right what ended up happening, right? Uh -uh. He got kicked off the tour. 
Oh, he did? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Good. Well, that's what you the get from Canadians being a like, fucking no, asshole. Fuck this guy. Yeah, see, I like that. That's what you get. You can't just be a dick like that to people. And yeah. That is, by the way, he's a fucking D, a radio DJ. He's just doing his job. Yeah. He's doing his job. He wasn't like taking a shot at you. That's why I, I love... Um... That's why I love the internet and stuff because of the fact that number one, you can see stuff like that. Yeah. And number two, it's like, oh, so we, now you have other people. There's, there's a new dimension of fame. There's, you know, you have now influencers. So, you know, you have, you have people that are big in TikTok. You have yeah. YouTube. There's different forms of entertainment out there and it lessens the power of the top. You're right. Do you well, feel it? it? Just, well, it also gives way to other powers. Right. Right. Like other things start to grow. And people feel it, I think, on the top. When, For you know, sure. before like somebody I remember one time when I first moved to LA, I was over there was a you know, China, the Chinese Man Theater. Yeah. I was there walking around in that area. This is before they turned it into the Kodak Theater, right? So I was walking around right there and I see two men in suits, black suits, mm -hmm. and I think they were black, right? Okay. And they were sunglasses at night. And in between them was Bruce Willis. They're walking. Just chilling on Hollywood. No, Bowl. they're just walking. Oh. They're going from somewhere to walk. They're walking. And I remember like there was people were like stunned. Yeah. I mean, people were like, people were like <laughs> frozen <laughs> right? because, you know what I mean? It's, it's Bruce Willis. Yeah, it's insane. Right? That's yeah. what I, it's fucking Bruce Willis. <laughs> right? That's what I was like. Right? And I was just. <laughs> right, froze, bro. Right now, if I saw Bruce, was like, "What's up?" I mean, it would. Uh, I don't give a fuck. Hey, dude. Yeah, yeah. I'd say, "Hey, dude." Yeah, he probably still walks with the two bodyguard. Yeah. Hey, what's going but on? But he doesn't. They don't have that type. Of, like back in the day, I know th there's one. Like back in the remember the Beatles. <laughs> remember the Beatles? No. The band. <laughs> no, it's not ringing a bell. <laughs> what do you mean? The Beatles, right? No, the would, band. The band, the Beatles. What do you mean the, the band? rock band, the Beatles, the Beatles, What's the that? band? What the fuck are you talking about? The Beatles, the band yesterday. What? Let it be. The monkeys. It... That's the monkeys. <laughs> no, 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 shut the fuck. All right. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> now you're making me sweat more. <laughs> but yeah, remember, the like Beatles, the yeah. Beatles would like just show up anywhere. And the city would faint. Girls would light themselves on fire. Yeah, in the street, like They'd those like, monks in Vietnam. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah style, right. I mean, they would like. You know, it what was mean? insane. Yeah, they would like. They'd be in a car. Ringo, everyone would be in a car, right? Right. And against the window, it's just vag women's vaginas just smeared against it. <laughs> yeah, like you're in some sort of like Chinese, like you know, what I mean, aqua, you know, what I mean? <laughs> aquarium or something, right? Just, <laughs> right. Just, just vagina, just vagina smeared against smearing, the bus. Right. Yeah. I mean, they they were bigger they, than big. That no longer. Now there's no band. If like you're that. a 12 year old girl and you see Harry Styles, well, they lose their fucking. Mind. They lose their minds. Yeah, but it's still not like you well, know. It's what not, mean? I'll die. I'll, I'd re I'll die. Right. To meet them. It's not. I'll jump off this building just to see Paul McCartney. Yeah, they used to do that. Yeah, I know that is crazy. And, and today, like t I, my first celebrity sighting was Tom Selleck at an airport. Yeah. With my dad. When? How old were you? I must have been like 10. Yeah. And, and then what'd you do? Lost absolutely batshit bonkers. Yeah. And my dad, of course, embarrassingly, he goes, hey, Tom Selleck. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Swear to God. No. Tom Selleck turned and he just went like this. And I was like, no. Dad, <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom Selleck's going to hate us now. Yeah. yeah, it was just like, but also, no offense, Tom Selleck wasn't like, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's not like one of the greatest actors of all time. But like, to me, I was like, holy fucking shit. Yeah. The guy from Mr. Baseball is right there. Oh my God. It blew my fucking mind. Yeah, and you think about it, that's like the highlight of your year. Oh, on the airplane, I was like, this guy from Mr. Fucking Baseball. Like, <laughs> I couldn't yeah, believe I, it. Right, right, right. I was like, he goes to the airports. Yeah, fucking my mom's the opposite. My mom, so my mom doesn't know anybody. Right. She doesn't know anything. That's awesome. Right? And I brought her to the comedy store once. Yeah. And I go, hey, this is my friend Andrew, not you, but some other guy. Andrew, right? Nice my guy. mom goes, hugs her, hugs this guy, right? And he goes, she goes, do you work here? <laughs> right? It was Dice. <laughs> yeah, I work here. I mean, he does. Yeah, but my brother, my, I love. My mom has no idea. Yeah, but that's don't. I, that's I so much it. better. That's so much better. She doesn't know many people either. No, she yeah. doesn't know anybody. We could be, we could bring in someone so fucking famous. She wouldn't. It wouldn't even. Who's the most famous person that would actually impress you? Harry Styles. See, look at that. Harry Styles. Yeah. Who at else? nineteen, you still have that. Yeah. It's so funny. Because, <laughs> Her face. Because you know Ben Winston is. You know what I mean? Yeah. He basically discovered Harry Styles. Yeah. And when I was doing that fucking talk show, right? This is before the pandemic. Yeah, I court on Corden? 
What? Uncool. No, it was not that talk show. I was doing that that game show. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember? Yeah, that? yeah of course. And Ben produced it. Yeah. And we were in the in my dressing room, and Ben walked in. Remember? Yeah. And I know the connection. So in my head, I was just like, because that we would have done another season without the pandemic. Yeah. And my goal was right, and th- to get them to meet. Oh. That was my goal. It just never happened. But I'm going to this concert. Oh, re- when? when? They're putting on a show? If it opens. If it opens. If it opens. September. It's never happened, so. Hairstyles was in One Direction and he broke away. Mm. But, but did they break up or they, they're never going to do it again? Is that what it is? They shouldn't. Yeah. They broke they're better up. without each other. I have to say, though. Huh? Because I'm a snob. Yeah. His first solo album. Was f- what? Real good. It was? Okay. And I, I, I have to admit that. After that, did he fall off? I, I, the, the other album is okay. There's some catchy, poppy, you know, kind of stuff. The Why do you say like you're embarrassed about it? Watermelon sugar, right? You, yeah, you yeah, said yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, you were saying that? Because, you know, um, I grew up with, you know. Oh, stop it. Please, don't make me fuck No, up. but you, I mean, you grew up with the Stones, right? Yeah, but there's the, the, again, there's great rock bands that still exist. Yeah, but it's like as good as Exile on Main Street, an album? Come on. You listen to the fucking White Album, the I know, Beatles. But, that, but that's to you. I don't know who they are. That's to you. <laughs> and, that's to you, Big, is where, the way that I, Harry Styles is to her. When you listen to the White Album, right, yeah. every song was a is fucking... a household. Everyone knows I know, that music. Because I think they didn't write it. I think they stole a lot of that stuff. <laughs> I wholeheartedly believe that. I don't believe they made fucking 50 number one hits. I think they stole a lot of music. I do. I really do. I think they stole so a lot of stupid. You think they just made that up? They stole a lot. You of had it. two, even three, right? They had scouts going out listening to other people's stuff, and they were stealing. If you look, if you listen to Paul McCartney's, like they were the Robin first... Williams of music. <laughs> you thought it was all his stuff, didn't Danny, you? How, how much time have we done? You're really making me mad right now. Right? <laughs> oh, because I'm because I'm saying that the Beatles didn't write all their own shit. I know they stole stuff. They stole. They didn't steal anything, man. Thieves. That's fucking ridiculous. Thieves. You stole from who? Bill, Bill Burr's essence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, such a loser. <laughs> oh, and then, but, yeah, his essence. Well, you tried to steal Ken Jong's, but he, I was before him. Well, how is he so further along? He's more talented. Correct. That's obvious. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Don't come at me. It Don't. didn't hurt. What you just said didn't hurt me. It didn't hurt me the Bill Burr thing at all. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I give, did. I, I'm gonna give it, you the same. You got heat. defensive, bitch. You got defensive. bitch. When you make fun of me, you're so sensitive. I'm gonna make fun of you. What? It did, but what you did didn't hurt me. It, the Bill Burr didn't hurt me either. You just said a bad joke about me, so I said a bad joke about right, you. Right, but no, but I, if you would have done the Ken Junk first to me, I wouldn't have brought it back to you because it would just deflect. Sure, you would. Nah. By the way, you started this war. Don't There's be no mad war. because I brought weapons. There's no war. No, but when you made fun of me, of course I just hit you back. I hit you back. <laughs> You're trying to egg me on by saying that the Beatles didn't write their own fucking music. Speaking of an egg. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, the Beatles, I, I do believe that they probably begged and borrowed and stole some of that stuff. That's so stuffed up. Anyway, let's move on. How can you say that that's not, why wouldn't that be true? What do you know that, that how do you know that that's not true? Because, I'll tell you why, because, um, number one. Did Elvis steal? No, but some of his music was co-written by a other people. A lot of it was taken from other people. Taken. Let's move on. Many people in the black community have said in the in, that he has stolen black music. Mm. Not just the essence of black music. He has literally stolen music from other artists. Mm-hmm. And they couldn't say anything about it. Okay. And you think the Beatles couldn't have that power? Nope. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I wholeheartedly believe it. They're oh, thieves. Oh, oh, they're, believe- they're thieves. Okay. They're thieves. All right. We were going into a nice movie thing. It was fine. You know what I mean? And also, and also, I'll say this: what? they're fuck, fuck. Paul McCartney is a hypocrite. He's fucking poo poo full of shit. Him and his wife started like an anti drug movement campaign. His whole fucking career was made on drugs. He's a fucking turd. Shut up, Paul McCartney. Dude, if if you let me say something right now. Shut up. If Paul McCartney walked in here right now, wouldn't give a fuck. Are you being real? Wouldn't give a fuck. Are you being fucking real? Because right now? Because the real genius of the Beatles yeah. died a long time ago. Who? John, who? John Lennon. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, the real genius of the Beatles. It was already dead. God, you're so dumb, dude. Paul McCartney. Do don't you... do drugs, kids. Don't do uh, uh, drugs. Did you listen to your the... whole fucking career was drugs. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Lucy in the fucking sky with diamonds. You made a fucking album called Yellow Submarine. Yeah, your whole shit was drugs. <laughs> he didn't write those songs. That's sometimes right. They, they, sometimes they co-write songs. So that, he wrote "Let It Be." Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's a good song. Yeah. 
It is? Yeah. <laughs> he wrote yesterday. I love Paul McCartney, dude. I'm actually the biggest Beatles fan. Are you being real? Yeah, that was a good bit. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you for, for being, being a bad, bad friend. friend. I think for me that because it didn't happen for me. What didn't happen? Like for me, it's like I wanted when we first do comedy, right? We go, you you, you get in the rocket ship, right? Yeah, yeah. You ch- ch- right? You're right. like, all right, and three, then, two, one. Apollo boom, thirteen. Boom, 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 right? <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't right. shoot, right? Yeah. And then you sit in the rocket ship <laughs> for a decade. Yeah. You try to press the buttons. How does this work? Yeah, you call NASA. And I think it's broken. Yeah. Right. And then we're working on it. Right. It's not. And then at one point they just. Pry you out of the fucking machine. Right, the you're in the wrong rocket you're, ship. You're no, you're not. You're no longer an astronaut. <laughs> right, right? right. So then you're like now back in your car driving home. <laughs> right, right, right. And then, I, and then once, three years later, they go get back in. Yeah. Right. We fixed it. It doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah. Right? So it's like I, he, right, got in, and <sighs> it's now in a different fucking solar system. Yep. Right. It's just that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm the fucking greatest. Right. And he it's is. like I, we're still on Earth. <laughs> Rocket ships are cool. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> and it's us. never gonna, yeah. For me, it's like, I'm, um, you know what, I'm on, I, I'm on a uh, hot air balloon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a hot air balloon. Yeah. Right? What am I? It, what am I in? It just, slowly, you know, yeah, go, is, it's going up. It's going yeah, up. I'm 60 almost. This is and then sometimes, barely off the and ground. sometimes the helium gets out. And, it, gets out, <laughs> and it, <laughs> you have to work really hard to fire yeah, it up yeah, again. Yeah, 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 that's, that's fucking me. You know what I am? What? Those little those little prop planes that fly right below the 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 so that you don't have to have oxygen. <laughs> but yeah. Just hoping no one shoots me down out of the sky. Oh, that's before all. the Wright brothers, there were people that tried to like invent flight. It was, that's yeah, me. With the, the, with the yeah. weird fucking. <laughs> yeah. That's me. Sure, begging to stay. Hope, just begging to stay afloat. Yeah, yeah.